welcome to my studio. Little apology to start with here. Uh, somehow I lost the first five minutes of the original video that I shot. Uh, so here I am at the end shooting the beginning. So this is all about painting this. It's a very quick and easy little painting to do. It's peonies and I've sort of used, I suppose, a, a Vincent van Gogh approach uh, with the, the, the peonies. Type of style, you might call it. Um, but there again, like I say, it's very quick and uh, an easy painting for, you know, beginners to do. Um, and this is what the my palette looks like at the end of the process. Uh, pretty well mixed. <laughs> Um, so what I started with originally, uh, the paint is uh, white. Uh, this particular one is uh, titanium white. Then I went for fluorescent yellow, yellow ochre, orange, just plain orange, china red, uh, fluorescent orange, viridian green, burnt sienna, burnt amber, and this time I used ultramarine blue. It's sort of on the purpley mauve uh, scale of blue. Hence the background colour mixed with white. Uh, I had I have another camera up the top here facing down, so um, I will be putting segments of uh, me, you know, mixing colours. Uh, a lot of people have asked about that, um, so I hope to put that into this video. So there again, I apologise for the beginning at the end, as it were. So uh, I hope you enjoy it, and uh, please leave a comment. And um, I'll see you at the end. So I'm here I've just drawn roughly where I want the peonies to be in relation to our canvas. So the next thing I'm going to do is get a slightly bigger brush. This one will do high. This is a three quarter inch filbert brush. So what we're going to do is going to get a little tiny touch of, well first of all I'll get quite a bit of white. I'm going to put just there a little tiny, tiny bit of blue like this. You get a very pale, pale blue. Maybe a touch more. Too much. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is just uh, just go around and paint the background like this, very roughly. Rub it in, as it were. Just mixing up a little bit more paint here. I'm put a little bit of tiny bit of red in with that too. There we go. So we're going to use this colour later on too. A little bit of blue. It's going to look a bluey pinky. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. That's through the middle there. Oh. Scrub it in. A 
This is just the background colour. So you scrub it in like this. I've got a bit of a mauvey colour happening here. if it's a little bit wishy-washy here really doesn't matter it doesn't matter if some of this color bleeds into it it will all add to the actual let's just bring that around here a bit okay we're going to be painting over top of this again as well happy with that. So we've got a mixture of different tones of colour. Make sure we got the all the background coated and there's no white canvas left. I'm happy with that. And now I'm just going to wash that it and dry this. run out of white already so we'll get a bunch more on average you'll use about three times as much white as any other color so this is now a three quarter inch flat beautiful brush so we're going to get I think no so we want a deep color now so we're going to get some of this red and a little bit of a little bit of green actually we got a really deep deep red color a little bit more Yellow. There we go. So what we're going to do is just go splotch right in the middle. Right. So we'll do the same to this one. Splotch right in the middle. This one just a, a little touch up here because this this one's rolled over onto its side. Just a touch there like that. So now we're gonna go lighter. Actually, what you normally do is start off with the dark dark colours first. So I'm gonna continue with this colour for the moment and uh, we're gonna come 
around here like this. Now, a peony is hundreds and hundreds of petals that go in a spiral like this. And they just work their way out like this. You just keep on adding and adding all the time. That's enough for the deep red for that one, and we'll do the same to this one. So these are individual petals, you could say or abstract indications of petals. A bit thicker paint there. Doesn't matter if you get a little splodge like that, it all adds to the you know the end. product as it were. Okay. And a little tiny bit on this one here. On the underside there. Because these petals go around this way like this. I'm going to leave that one as it is. I'm going to wash the brush out. Okay. Get my little chisel brush out or dagger brush, whatever you'd like to call it. You can see it's cut on a on an edge. Now with this one, I think we're going to um, alter the colour slightly. We'll get some orange into this pink. A little bit more red. Brighten this up a little bit. So I'm on my third size brush now. So you can see it's beginning to resemble some sort of flower. So we've got all the pinks and the orangey and the burgundies in there. Let's put some on this one now. You see the amount of paint that I got on my. I've got a big gob of it. And it all helps with your painting. It gives you a little bit of a 3D effect as well. Don't be in a hurry. Just add to it and add to it all the time. Fill in the empty spaces, as it were, with colour. I'm going to introduce a little bit of brown into this now. A little bit of red, a little bit of orange, a tiny bit of brown, maybe a little bit of yellow. A bit 
more brown, darker brown. I got a dirty brown. See what that does? A bit more dirty maybe. Turn it down a bit. There's no particular place to put it, just whatever you think. Let's see if you can make the brush do petal strokes as it were. You can see this is now beginning to resemble some sort of flower. You can sort of imagine petal shapes. On the outside here there. They go slightly darker and older and well, browner, I suppose. And there's about three different <laughs> colour paints there, and it all adds, you know. You don't want it, you don't want it being a complete circle, you know, you, you want it to be an odd sort of shape. Petals are brownier on the outside. Like this. And possibly something like that. A little bit more brown in here now. A little bit more red with that. So you can see you're, you're making up petals with colour. And they're making their own shape. So we're gradually covering the canvas here and our peony is coming to life. But these are the base colours. We'll really bring it to life shortly. See how many colours of paint that I have on the bullet? You might be able to see it now. How about if I do that? There's many different colours of paint on there. And that's exactly what you're after. You see some of the colours are beginning to wash into each other and mix on the canvas. I'm to, I just picked up a bit of orange on this now and so now I'm starting, what I'm actually starting to do is some of the highlights. If you look at a, a peony there are hundreds of petals in each bloom. So that is what I'm trying to make. 
and it will take hundreds of different strokes to actually you know sort of make that I think that's enough of those colors so now I'm going to do the same to these brown a little bit of red a little bit of orange and sometimes what I do is I I just put a dab of different colors in a similar area and I just put the brush in it and whatever color comes out that's what's going to go on here and same again so you know just so happened to go into a bit of brown there Because looking at it, if you rotate a peony over slightly, so this is the top, this section, of course all you can see here is the, the side view of it. Now there's a happy little accident. <laughs> Never mind. We will make it bigger. Okay, so we're going to add uh, a few more colours into this now. Um, I'm going to mix yellow, a little bit of. What you do to one PA, you must do to another. Hoping I'm keeping my big head out of the way. You see, I'm making this slightly 3D as well. So the little peaks on these. Just sets the rest of the colours off. And without cleaning my brush, I'm going in straight into the yellow.
I don't want to destroy the pinks too much. Okay. So outside petals. Hope I'm keeping my head out of the way. Just a couple of strokes up, I think. This is a peony that hasn't completely opened. I want to try and introduce some greens on the outside of this one. Like this. Um. Let's wash that brush again. Okay, so now let's start to make this these flowers pop a little bit more. Let's get some load my brush up with white and Just on the tips. Can you see that okay? I hope my head hasn't. It doesn't really matter if some of the other colours sort of mix in with it. But let's put some highlights in here. I don't go sort of over crazy with the white. Just move outwards in a spiral motion like this. And that will set those other colours off. Now you can really have some fun with colour. And like I was saying about Bob Ross earlier, you can't make any mistakes painting. It's your painting, you do what you want with it. As long as you like it. That's the main thing. Some longer strokes of white in here now. Not 
too much. Just along the edge here. Because don't forget, these petals are all bunched up together. So. Fine. I think that'll do it for the white highlights. I think that's fine. Of course these colours will tone down a little when they, they dry. They always dry a couple of shades uh, duller than what they are on here. Just going to get a touch of water in my white here and I'm just going to give this one a little bit of a wash maybe like this I think that's better. Yeah, I'm a bit happier with that. Okay, I'm going to change my brush now, I think. And we're going to go for... Just wash this one out. My half inch filled up now. So I'm just going to get a green, a little bit of blue with that. Dark leaf green. Put a bit of green foliage around here. Leaf shapes foliage. There's a dab on there, right there. A little bit of green. Let me get a deep leaf. Now I'm going to show you how to make a leaf. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring a stem out from here, 
push my brush down, wiggle it, turn it, okay, A bit more water with that, I think. A bit more brown. So I'm going to go from here, a little stem, like so. And there's a leaf. More from the back here. Stem. Very simple. Introduce a little bit of red into that as well, I think. A bit of white. Another one coming out here. Oop. Turn and point. Maybe a little bit. Lovely.
just try and imagine what the leaf shape is and use the shape of the end of your your brush to imagine that it's a leaf let's introduce some other colours into here older leaves a stem wiggle so you mix the colours on the actual canvas here's one all all colors under the rainbow coming up here beautiful I find more colours in the actual, you know, sort of greenery leaves that you're doing. Um, actually, make it a lot. Um, I suppose akin to real life because no leaves of, well I suppose you know that you can get pure green leaves but uh, it's much more interesting if they you know put a bit of yellow into them or something so let's break up this here make that one a little bit more pointed yes little bit of texture into it and I think another one coming out here I don't want to put anything above that and you know you can play around with it finish them off a little if they're not quite the shape that you you know sort of really want you can be more direct with them and finish them off by hand So that was a very quick and simple demonstration of how to paint a representation of peonies. Anybody can paint peonies. Well, roses are a little bit more difficult because uh, you have to be more precise with the petals. But uh, peonies, it's just really a spiral of colours as you can see um, I don't actually paint realism this is all 
painting that anybody can do, you know, and end up with um, quite a nice little picture. And, and really, you know, sort of a lot of people paint to, uh, you know, sort of get rid of the stress of daily life, I suppose. And uh, especially these days, we probably need de-stressing. Okay, so if you like what I'm doing, please press like and subscribe. And if you really like what I'm doing, you could become a patron to the channel. Uh, obviously now I think quite a number of you know what I do. Uh, basically it's uh, everything that a, you know, sort of a, a home maker can uh, produce or do or make. Uh, either using CNC machines or lasers or art. Because it is actually all related. Uh, being a maker. You need to be a jack of all trades. So don't forget, if you like what I'm doing, tell your friends, because that is how the channel grows. And if you don't like what I'm doing, please tell everybody. So, until the next video, it's bye for now.